So are you ready to go? Yeah, 30 seconds. All right, so let's get the second The 194th meeting of the New Paltz Town Council and for our reorganizational meeting. Uh, it's January 4th, 2016, 7.30 p.m. Seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So carried. Pledge of Allegiance, please stand. I pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one by nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We'd like to start the meeting with public comment. If anyone has a comment, please come to the podium. Just for my two cents, I think one of the most important um, areas of administration for the new board right now is, is the planning board. Uh, I think some of the current events are, are, uh, have great import, great impact, and I just hope as you try to weed through all the many priorities you have, uh, in oversight, administration, and attention to the planning board is something I hope that you can find the time for. It. Um, the other item that I, I think is a Kind of a, a, a wound that could use some healing. Um, I sat through and watched an experience at the, at the village where uh, the mayor's salary was reduced at a time in a way that was not following usual procedures. And I, I think to have seen the new supervisor's um, salary reduced in the middle of a campaign when people had already elected and been running for the office but before election day. And changing the changing the rules in the middle of the game is kind of um, difficult to understand. And that's the very I hope you've done. Pay some attention to. Thank you. Thanks. Any other comments? Okay, that ends the public comment period. Let's move on to the resolutions for the 2016 Town of New Paltz. Reorganization meeting. Can we uh, accept the agenda? Great. Do, uh, is there a motion to accept the agenda? Uh, Marty had proposed some changes. I want to hear if everyone wants to vote on Marty's changes. I propose that we set a meeting, a jo joint meeting for January 21st. Is the village? I just get the top ones. I just set joint meeting for January 21st. Set a public information setting a session establish a policy regarding boards, commissions, and committees engaging third-party vendors and consultants, the fire department's use of space in the town's former police department space, designating an LEPC chairperson, appointment of a special prosecutor, update on town hall, demolition, and request an authorization, and set a special meeting for January 12th. Some of those items I think we've already done. Yeah, I'm so, I was reading in front of me, so thank you, Marty. So okay. the only thing I would say, Marty, would you have a problem if we didn't do the fire department use of space town halls? I think that we have some miss a lot of missing information on that. Uh, I'm not too sure of the established policy regarding boards. Do we have anything written on that yet? It's not that I don't want to discuss these. I don't know if they're great for tonight, just because I think I'd like to get some more information. Could, could we put those 
all of them on the agenda for unless they're really pressing for the next meeting, the special meeting on the 13th, Marty? Do you want a meeting on the, we're having a special on meeting the on, the, on the 12th? I'm, I'm requesting one. I don't think all of these can be put off until then. I think we already established the joint meeting and the um, public information session. I think it's even on the calendar that Rosanna sent down as well. Just so you know. Yeah, so those are actually set. So mm -hmm. the first one is on the calendar and... When did we have that meeting? Um, I know the village board took action at their meeting. Well, it's reflected on the calendar, so I'm assuming that if we put it there, then we oh, must I, have taken a vote to a I don't place believe we have. <laughs> well, it's, it's already publicly noticed that that will happen. <laughs> so we leave that on and we take another vote for fun. Fine, we can take another vote. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> we have a long agenda. I don't have a problem with deferring the fire department until another meeting. Thank you. You just get some more well, information. What is the other one? And the uh, special prosecutor thinks already on the The special prosecutor should be. I missed it. Yeah, that's that's my apology. It should be on the reorder of the special yeah. prosecutor. And then uh, the uh, policy regarding boards, committee commissions, unless I, I'm not exactly sure. I, I don't mind discussing it. I'm not sure. This has to do with when somebody on a board requests to use, for example, an attorney or an accountant or some other outside professional, that they not just take it upon their own initiative to do that, but that they first get the approval, pre-approval pre from the supervisor to control costs. That was my intent on including it, since we are setting policies. It's up to everyone. I, I'm good. I'm going to have a conversation. Yeah. It, it might take a little bit more work to finalize a, a policy, but I'm happy to talk about it. So uh, I will make a motion that we accept the changes from Marty and to accept the agenda as with the additions. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carried. So start off with the delegation of administrative duties to the supervisor. <clears throat> Delegation of administrative duties to the supervisor. Pursuant to town law section 2916, resolved the town board of, New of the town of New Paltz hereby authorizes and delegates to the town supervisor powers and duties of day-to-day -day administration and supervision of all town and special district facilities and employees consistent with and in furtherance of any and all state and federal laws applicable thereto and with any and all local laws, resolutions or policies hereto and hereafter adopted by this town board. So moved. All in favor? Uh, yes. Okay. Motion so carried. I think we have a second. Uh, legal representation for the town. Joe Moriello, Esquire of the law firm DeStasi, Moriello, and Murphy as town attorney. Will Wallens, uh, Esquire of Romer, Wallens, Gold, and Minu as labor attorney. George Lithgow, Esquire of Jacobowitz, Gubitz, and as planning board attorney. Ken Bond, Esquire of Squire Patent Boggs, LLP as bond counsel. Wallace and Wallace, LLP for municipal center related matters and Kevin Berry, Esquire, as Special Prosecutor. And also the supervisor is authorized to assign legal matters to attorneys on a case-by-case -case basis. I'll second that for discussion. And the only discussion is that last sentence, that the supervisor is authorized to assign legal matters to attorneys on a case-by-case -case basis. We have in the past named attorneys, so I'm just, I'm just slightly uneasy just to have the supervisor have the power to go out and get any attorney. I'm, 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 knowing I'm, the cost. I, I, so, I was just uh, pulling that off boilerplate from last year's Yeah, we uh, used minutes. to, and thank you, and I, I have no problem with it. Uh, we used to actually name them, so top of my head tells me, uh, we used to have three local attorneys that were actually on the list. Were they actually listed in the old line from the reorder from last year? I know several years ago, we actually used to list them the ones that you could choose from. So for example, someone had to uh, 
recuse themselves, one of our attorneys you can pick from the list. Well, the language that Neil read regarding the supervisor being authorized is precisely the language that was in the January 5th, 2015 reorg minutes. Wow. We're also, let's hope we don't need one. I'm, 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 I'm happy to change it. I'll leave it in. I'm, let's leave it in there, and then uh, maybe we can come up later with a list of attorneys. We used to have a list, and it was three local attorneys because we did have a case where uh, our board attorney had to recuse himself. So. I think it would be helpful to have a list. I Great. think that would Thank be a nice know. addition. So okay, I'm good. I'm good with my second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion so carried. The uh, next is engineer for the town, David Clauser of David Clauser and Associates. Second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, motion so carried. After each one. Okay, uh, I've been informed I need to ask for discussion uh, after each item, so I'd like to now take the chance if there are any items people would like to discuss for the previous, for the delegation, legal representation or the engineer of the town? We've already approved it. I, I was just reminding you that going forward when, when a motion the second is made, usually we, we go to a discussion. Um, the only thing I would say is that, um, you know, it's a little awkward for a brand new board to appoint all these people without necessarily having the opportunity to work with them. Uh, the town's worked with people, it's been very well in my experience here, but, uh, you know, there was some discussion about looking at other people down the road, and I would say that a year from now, if um, this board does want to look at those items differently, I would encourage you to, but it's kind of one of those awkward things when a new board takes office that you don't have that pleasure of getting to work with those people. I would say if we should elect to, to do that, we should not wait until the time of our next reorg Absolutely. meeting, mm -hmm. should we choose to want to solicit alternate proposal so that we have time to do that and be prepared at a reorg meeting mm -hmm. to uh, make the selections. So I make a motion that we add to an agenda sometime this spring to discuss uh, this issue. Motion for that. Just add it. Just add it. Yeah. We will add it to the agenda. All right, the official newspaper. For meeting notices, the new we'll policy. Sorry, I was being snarky. For meeting notices, the New Paltz Times is designated as the official newspaper of the town, and the backup newspaper is the Daily Freeman. Freeman. Sorry about that, Daily Freeman. Do I have a second? Second. Do we have any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Uh, right. Motion so carried. The investment of town funds. The supervisor is empowered to invest funds in the official depositories and that all certificates of deposit be covered by pledged government securities in the amount of, of the certificates of deposit or approval, approved state collateral. These must be placed in escrow accounts in another bank or placed in a safe deposit box under the town board control. <coughs> so moved. Second. Any discussion? Motion so carried. Yeah, this is fair. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. <laughs> Meetings. The first and third Thursdays of each month will be designated as town board business meetings. Town board meetings will begin at 7.30 p.m. and the agenda will be ready by 5 p.m. on the preceding Tuesday. Public hearings will generally begin at 7.15 unless otherwise noted and the board uh, uh, with the board meeting to follow. In addition, if an additional meeting is needed, the supervisor has the authority to schedule the second or fourth Thursday night of the month. So moved. Seconded. And for discussion, is there a reason why we're moving the Thursday nights of the meetings? to the first and third instead of third and fourth? Is that what you're asking? You're being moved, so. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, th that was actually something that I suggested, that we space them apart, because when we meet on the third and fourth Thursdays, we then have a large timeline between the fourth and the next third, sometimes a 
few weeks, sometimes more than that, depending on the number of days in the month and when they fall, leaving us a big gap in order to conduct business. So my suggestion was that we pick two other Thursday nights that are spaced apart. Jean Gallucci uh, informed us that we need to hold the meeting on the third Thursday so that warrants can be approved in a timely fashion. Ergo, why I picked the first and third rather than some other Thursday nights. Jeff, is that in a scheduling issue? I mean, uh, it's it is a little bit, but I mean, work it out. I mean, if it's it, a it big is, issue, we we could hold off on that. I don't want to put you in an inconvenient spot. Is everyone else for these dates? I, I was okay with that rationale. I know that Maria emailed that out. Um, but if you have a scheduling issue that needs to be worked out, we don't have to take action. Or this is just my opinion. We wouldn't have to take action on that. And if it's something you can't do, you know, let us know. The nice part was it allows you to schedule throughout, and people do vacations and whatnot. And we always just call it special meetings. <coughs> this is now dedicating us to the first and third Thursday. So you're now taking the month really making it difficult to fit in the other parts of all of our lives into it. That's kind of my concern and I'm always happy and I think I, I, I think in three terms I've missed a total of uh, maybe eight meetings. So a couple of them were due to personal issues with my family and uh, so I've always been able to schedule it in but this is now really going to fill up your months if you think about it. This is this is really a month filler. I mean so everyone's got this think about that you're taking the first week of it, the last week of the month, basically, the third week of the month, and filling, you're filling the month up. If you have it in the last two, then someone can disappear for a couple of weeks or, or schedule for life into it. I, I'm good either way. I was thinking, you know, there's kind of a reason why they were kind of bunched together. I think school work is kind of similar. I believe the village does a little bit similar. But there, there are towns that do do this. Um, obviously, there's yeah. a rationale for doing it both ways. Yeah, I'm good either way. Whatever you guys want, I'm, I'm good. I'll just say that I. I now that I've heard your rationale, Jeff, that makes sense to me. So I've confirmed the third and fourth. Because yeah, it just gives everyone an opportunity. And we have to do a special meeting, Mark. I, I, we have to schedule one every month. I, as you know, I, very rare I miss a meeting. I'm happy. Right, so who made the motion? Was that me or Mark? <coughs> okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll withdraw my motion on that. Marty, please feel free to throw a meeting, especially if we've got a lot of big things going between the water and the building. I totally understand your rationale, and I'm more than happy to, to put in special meetings, and if we can do them, we'll do them. And we'll, you know, I have no problem with special meetings. I would say that I, I would hope that going forward, when we schedule special meetings, that we do try to keep them on Thursday, because I think it's, it's a good idea to have a consistent day, like this is our town day. And that's just, obviously there are things that are going to happen over the course of a year where we can't always plan for that. Mm -hmm. That was one of the things I did like about this schedule, but uh, I do appreciate that you noted that that is something that we should certainly consider. Um, what's, the, what's the majority of the board think? Well, it sounds like I heard Julie say she had some problems with it. You brought up some good points. I tend to agree with your points as well, which is why I chose to withdraw the motion as I think there's a majority. So should we taking a vote to fail it. So uh, how about I change this to the meetings will be the third and fourth Thursday of each month, um, beginning at 7.30. Agenda will be, will be ready by 5 p.m. on the preceding Tuesday. Public hearings will begin at 7.15, unless otherwise noted. And the board, uh, with the board meeting to follow, additional meetings will be scheduled as needed on Thursdays, if possible. And that would be for the second or third Thursday, then? Or second or uh, first, 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 second. first or second. Thank you very much. I'm with you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I'll make that motion. Second. Any more discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion so carried. Okay. So record management day. Town hall offices will be closed to the public three times a year for the purpose of records management. Dates for 2016 are Friday, April 29th, Friday, August 26th, and Friday, December 9th. So any, moved. Any discussion? Or any second? Second. Any second? Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Holidays, as per the personnel policy, town employees are not covered by a collective bargaining 
unit contract shall be paid for holidays adopted at the town of New Paltz reorganization meeting. Do I read all of these? New Year's Day, January 1st, all dates are 2016. Martin Luther King, Junior Day, January 18th, President's Day, February 15th, Memorial Day, May 30th, Independence Day, July 4th, Labor Day, September 5th, Columbus Day, October 10th, Veterans Day, November 11th, Thanksgiving Day, November 24th, the day after Thanksgiving Day, November 25th, uh, Christmas Day uh, in, in Liu, the day after Christmas, December 26th, and then there are two floating <coughs> holidays uh, with permission of your department head. Seconded. Any discussion? I was curious if, if there's anything else that anyone else, any other holidays that anyone thinks should be observed? Is that correct? These are these, they're, they're contract based. These That's why you do the two floating, and what we do is we, this is comes off of our contracts. Very good. But so again, that's why there's a statement in there, though, too, that are. Uh, uh, not covered by collective bargaining unit is pretty much mirrors our bargaining unit. Uh, the two floating are a little bit different. But. So we did. We gave the floating so people can uh, take these they would like. Uh, so uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carried. So now we have some general personnel policies. Town will follow the guidelines of Ulster County personnel regarding equal opportunity and affirmative action. Department heads and elected officials. We'll submit monthly reports by the second Tuesday of the month in time for review at the regular monthly workshop meetings and that the supervisor can request additional reports from the department heads at any time. And then we can go into the town board, hereby fix the salaries for the new, for the year beginning January 1st, 2016 at the a months, at the amounts uh, respectively stated below. And these are all listed in the, uh, the budget so I can go through those salaries. Go for it. Town supervisor, 40,000. Deputy supervisor, 9,000. Town council persons, 6,851. Town highway superintendent, 44,290. Town clerk, 43,260. Town justice, 29,355. The following salary positions will be paid. The salary for the year beginning January 1st, 2016. Building inspector, 52,811, assessor 47,940, confidential secretary 35,513, pool director 11,832, recreation director 19,289, youth center director $53,040, records management officer included in the town clerk line, included in the town clerk line. Uh, the salary is included there. Registrar of vital statistics also included in the town clerk line. Recycling coordinator, 43,860. Building and grounds, water, super, sewer supervisor, 20,280. Dog control officer, $15,600. All hourly paid and town employees not bound by other contracts receive time and a half for overtime over 40 hours worked in a given week. In the event any employee is called back after work for overtime, she, he will receive a minimum of two hours of pay. Town employers should use available town vehicles when possible, but that all town employees be allowed current IRS standard mileage rate of 54 cents per mile for the use of their cars or an on-town business. And upon the, upon, the super, upon the submission of a voucher that has been approved by the de their department head. Jury fees in the town court shall be $5 for serving and $1 for summons for jury duty. Uh, the board shall pay for services for court stenographer fees and criminal actions only, including preliminary hearings and or examinations. I would like to move that this be approved as read with one exception, that the town supervisor's salary be raised to $50,000 subject to not using our health insurance. I actually I think I think we can't want I think we can't it. do that. Actually, I re we're not I allowed have to have to happen in discussion. We, we uh, by law we have to stick yeah. to yeah, the, the budget. budgeted amounts. Yeah, but we, thanks. Can, we can have it. Um, and thanks to Don. Uh, I, I would, but legally we can't change any of these salaries right now. Well, you can tell that we didn't collaborate before this um, because I, I was going to bring that discussion up that I'd like for us to have a discussion on the supervisor's salary, not tonight. I don't think it would actually be appropriate to take any kind of action like that as our first meeting without a larger discussion. Um, but when we passed the budget, I, I did say that this was an item that I hoped that the new board would look at again, and I encourage us to do that. Um, 
but I, I think that tonight would not be the appropriate forum. So with a cameraman, cameraman and two reporters here, I just wanted to say that I would like us to review that very soon. But otherwise... And I, I will amend my motion to accept this as read. I'll second it. And uh, just for discussion, and because you started a discussion, is uh, yeah, Mark, uh, the, it is all of these are established through uh, the budget. Uh, we also do already have a buyout amount, so just so we know that there is a buyout amount already that we offer in our uh, manual to uh, health insurance. So we would be changing what we are paying for a buyout in health insurance, and that could create a uh, contractual issue. So we would have to discuss further about <coughs> how we want to change it. That would not be a good vehicle to do it, in my opinion. I, I think that Marty. My understanding from Gene Gallucci is that that buyout is not offered to the supervisor. Yeah, it's in our, I didn't say it was, I said it's in our manual, so we already have established a rate that what we buy it out for in our manual. If we change that rate with one individual, then what you would be establishing is you would then be establishing a uh, new policy, basically, and once you do it once, exception becomes a rule. So it, I am not adverse to discussing and changing it, but uh, that would not be the way I would suggest. Uh, one way you could suggest, uh, by town law, you do have to have a dog control officer. Neil, are you interested in being a dog control officer? <laughs> Happy to be dog control officer. And it requires picking them up, actually, in the middle of the night, so we'll discuss that. I don't want to take someone's job who is the dog it, control We actually share it in a way we're both, sorry, we actually share it with two other people, with two other towns, and we share it with two people through it, but uh, it, <laughs> it's not something you want to do, by the way. Uh, it's very difficult to continue. Are you saying we don't have one? We do. We no. share with two other communities. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, Jill, is uh, Shelfit is the uh, main one, and uh, we share her and her benefits. Mm -hmm. So it actually works out very well. She does three communities, and she does come out at 2 in the morning to yeah. pick up the It's, it's a very I, difficult job, and I, we I, are very fortunate that we have some two people actually that are willing to do it part time. They I'm, share I'm, the paycheck. I'm very glad she's doing it, and yeah. I probably don't want to do that as soon as you don't. <laughs> So anyway, it is a discussion, but I'm already, let's discuss maybe, I wouldn't just, I, I wouldn't base it on health care though, because I believe you now would be potentially changing things that we already have established within the town, and it would be problematic in the future. I, I think we're in a, a, a unique scenario that, and correct me if I'm wrong, you're not taking the health insurance package <coughs> from the town? I'm not. So, and I know that we budgeted $20,000 for that. Uh, the, however, I don't think that that's the crux of the argument for me relative to the supervisor salary. It's more about the position um, than that unique scenario because you can't necessarily base it on what supervisor decides to do with their health insurance because the next supervisor will be totally different. Um, but either way, uh, that's a conversation I'd like to have down the road and it sounds like <coughs> agrees with that so I just wanted to throw so that out we there. we can't change any of these salaries now all we can do is uh, accept the salaries that are in the budget mm -hmm. and so uh, I'm I think we have a motion is, to do, that yeah. do we have a second I, I believe I second and uh, any more discussion all in favor Aye. 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 motion so carried we need to set cash funds the tax collector retains a $300 cash draw and a, and a $50 petty cash fund. $250. There we go. Shrinking it. Petty cash is $250? No, no. Cash All right. So tax collector retains a $250 cash draw and a $50 petty cash fund. I have a second. So, any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion so carried. So, uh, safety program. The town of New Paltz resolves to continue the safety program for the benefits of all employees. Each department head shall inform his or her employees of the provisions of the safety codes at her, his, her respective work location. Safety concerns will be brought to the office of the supervisor. Furthermore, material safety data sheets or MSDSs will be prominently available for all chemical substances stored within the town hall, the highway garage, the building and grounds department, memorial pool, recycling center, and in all other locations as required by 
uh, OSHA and Public Employee Safety and Health. Do I have it? Seconded. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. So carried. Appointments. Uh, Rosanna Mazakari. Mazakari shall be appointed as tax collector at a salary to be included in her town clerk salary. Uh, also appointed as registrar of vital statistics at no pay. So moved. All any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion so carried. Town clerk's appointments. Town clerk Rosanna Mazakari. Mazakari. I apologize. Appointment uh, appoints. Christy Mezzacari and Diane Lee as deputy clerk, clerks to be paid an hourly rate of seventeen eighty three and thirteen twenty six an hour respectively. Do we have to vote on this if it's your appointment? You're approving the salary. Okay. We're approving this. Okay. Does they actually go? Okay. They're sure. not contract. They're not in a contract. So, so moved. moved. Or second. Set. Either way. <laughs> Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carried. Uh, supervisor appointments. I, I would like to appoint uh, the following. Daniel Torres as Deputy Town Supervisor. Kathy Preston as Assistant to the Supervisor. Uh, Jill Schufeld as Dog Control Officer. Lost my chance. Uh, <laughs> Tricia Masterson as Town Assessor. Laura Pettit as Recycling Coordinator. Uh, and also Councilman Dan Torres to be the emergency backup to the supervisor if he is unavailable in the event of police fire and or rescue cannot contact him. We so also, no. oh, sorry. We, we also need, do we need to appoint the, uh, set the, the, uh, the stipend for the emergency preparedness committee manager or will we I do that? I guess it was already done in the budget previously. Okay, so we don't need to do that? Yeah. Great, sorry. Good. Uh, do we have a second? Any discussion? I'd like to propose an amendment that the name of the town assessor be corrected to Trisha Masterson. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. I, I think it was it was read that way, and it's wrong in there. Oh, yeah. So it was read into the so record. So it's Trisha Masterson. Yeah. Yeah. I read that. I already corrected Marty's. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I, that's the same I, but that's been fed. So, um, any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion so carried. And so for the procedures for making appointments to committees, commissions, and boards, I think this is all, uh, do we need to read all of this or is this already in documents somewhere, like the credit card policy? I would be okay with this, just making a motion to approve it. Yes. None of this has changed from last year. No, yeah, this is, uh, let me sure. Although, Roseanne, did we include in this the uh, filling out. Remember, we changed it. We that they had to fill out. They uh, the disclosure. They had to fill out the disclosure that it would not be allowed until disclosure is filled out. Um. Well, that's part of the ethics section. That's I think the next. Must be filled. Yes. So is is the bean. Is following the ethics law part of the procedure for making an appointment to committees, commissions, and boards? I guess would be my question. Well, any elected or appointed officials are being employed um, under the ethics law, and they're not being employed under the ethics law, and they're not We've also been making our appointments and mentioning that they need to serve that or send in that form. I think the has been said that they're contingent upon that, so that also covers us. It does, actually, in the last paragraph. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. Thank you. So I don't mind just moving that section since it's the same section. Seconded. Uh, any discussion? All in favor? Uh, aye. Motion so carried. The ethics law: all elected officials, appointed officials, and others employed by the town hall by the town shall be governed by the ethics law chapter 15 of the town code and are obligated to comply with its provisions financial disclosures must be filed annually with the town clerk by january 31st uh, as a reminder to all personnel the chair of the ethics board shall circulate a memorandum so moved seconded any discussion 
All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion so carried. Freedom of information, the town clerk shall serve as information officer for the town of New Paltz and shall be responsible for complying with requests for information under the freedom of information law. So moved. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion Aye. so carried. The procurement policy is uh, one, two, three, uh, four pages long. Nothing has changed from last year. Can we enter it into the town record? So without reading? Yeah. Uh, any discussion? Yeah, I need a second. No? Would you like to second it? And just it is so all, as a lot of this is based on general municipal law too, and GML too, so it's solid. So there's a motion and a second. Oh. Uh, any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion so carried. Purchasing. All approved services rendered are to be paid for through the submission of a voucher and vouchers must be secured and approved by the supervisor prior to the purchases made or services rendered. And in an emergency, the supervisor is also authorized to grant purchase permission without a voucher. Payment of vouchers will comply with the previous policy. The superintendent of highways will be authorized to purchase equipment, tools, implements without prior approval of the town board in the amount not to exceed $1,000 in any one year in accordance with section 141, subsection 1A of, his, of highway law. Procedures for processing of vouchers and purchase orders must be followed as per the established town purchasing policy and the financial guide for town highway superintendents of the state of New York, Office of the Comptroller. So moved. Second, any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion so carried. Credit card policy as well. We have a few um, amendments to the policy. Uh, so it has changed a little bit from last year. I, I don't, uh, I can read the changes or do you want me to read the whole thing? Uh, I think we're all good with it. Uh, unless anyone else wants to read through it and a lot of this came through Gene also, so. It will be in the town record. It's, in, it's very comfortable. And just, and Marty had a very valid question. I know Marty said it's, uh, I think some people think, just so everyone knows too, we do not have a lot of credit cards out and about in the town. They are incredibly limited, restricted. Our chief of police has one, uh, and we have one that's used for booking rooms and whatnot. Uh, after we booked, that's why we had to, we made a motion in December to book the rooms for you guys for the AOT. So do we have a list of who uh, who has yes, possession of those? There's only a couple of them. Uh, and actually there were some issues when I credit cards a long time ago, we cleaned that, and then there were some issues with some uh, gas cards, and we also changed that to the only gas cards out there are actually are assigned to each vehicle, police vehicle. So. I, I believe Gene's been a big part of that. I mean, I know that there are a number of municipalities who have had issues with cards. Uh, there was a large report about the town of Eatman where they lost Loss is probably not the proper term, but three hundred thousand dollars went to someone else. So it happens, and it's good that we're on top. Of it. And in Long Island, they had a to build tickets. a whole deck on our house. Yeah, I did. No one caught it for a while. Okay. So, um, is there a motion made for the approval of that? I will make the motion. Second. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Motion so carried. Voucher due dates. 2016 vouchers due by 3 p.m. on January 11th, February 8th, March 7th, April 11th, May 9th, June 6th, June, July 11th, August 8th, September 5th, October 11th by 12 p.m., November 7th, and December 5th. Uh, there's also a voucher audit schedule uh, for 2016 that's in the uh, in the back of the uh, the pamphlet here that will be in the town record, and that's mostly for the town board members. Uh, do I have a motion? So moved. So moved. Second? Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion so carried. Uh, board liaisons and committee assignments. I've uh, tried to give everyone the positions they would like, as well as uh, keep all the, the department. Uh, the board, the different uh, departments happy and commissions happy. That's also in the packet if you guys want to look at it. 
It's um, we're the can you direct website that to me, too. and it'll be on the this will be on the town website. In the packet that you circulated tonight. Yes. Neil? Hmm. <laughs> is I'm not finding it in my second second from the last page. I can read through them. Why don't you read them? So uh, Marty will be Marty will be the liaison for the assessor. Dan uh, for the bike pad. Jeff for the board of assessment. Jeff for the building. Jeff for the building and grounds. Marty for clean water open space. Dan for the Elding Library. I will be working with the uh, the LEPC. Dan with the Environmental Conservation Board. Dan with the Ethics. I will work with Finance and Grants, Jeff with the Highway, Julie with the Historic Preservation Commission, Marty with the Justice Court, Julie with the Master Plan, Marty with the Microgrid, Julie with Mariello Pool, Marty and Dan will both be uh, continue to work on as the Executive Committee for the Municipal Center, Julie will work with the New Paltz Child Care Center, Julie with the pl uh, Planning Board, Julie Recreation, Dan Recycling, I will uh, work with the school board, Marty with senior services. Uh, I will work with television public access. I will work with the transportation implementation committee. Marty and Jeff will work with the union contractor <coughs> negotiating team. Dan with the village board, Jeff with the water sewer, Dan with the youth center, and Jeff with the zoning board. Uh, discussion? I can uh, uh, second it for discussion. Uh, for the union contract negotiating team, so everyone knows, uh, the, we have always uh, we named the whole town board as the personnel committee, so we're all the personnel committee uh, for the union negotiating team. If you wanted to add your name to that, also Neil, uh, what I started when we started doing it is having three people on, and the reason being is under law, uh, if you have three members of a five-member board, anything done during that union contract negotiation we have to vote for it. So if we sit there and all agree to the memorandum of understanding, Sounds good. Um, we come back to this table, we then have to support it, vote for it. The other two members can do as they please, but it, it guarantees it when we're in there negotiating the unions understand the seriousness of it. Good point. And, and it has worked, just so you know, because we are now with no contracts expired and it's been very effective. So if you'd like to add your name to I that. Have, I've added my name to that. There you go, so Neil, I would add to that. Julie, I'll work with you a little bit on more yellow pool when it starts opening. Uh, we're going to teach you how to turn wrenches and everything because, and as Chris, we've spent many time down there, so uh, I look forward to you doing that. Sorry. <laughs> I, have, I can teach you how to put a pump together, too, unfortunately. And also, uh, I look forward to Marty working with the Justice Courts and with, I think we will see some great efficiencies, too with uh, the way we're restructuring and how we're working with the courts and with special prosecutors. So thank you for doing that. Marty, I know you have a lot on your plate, but we just added more. <laughs> thank you. Um, who would you like to be? You get to pick. No pressure. I, I'm, I'm happy to do it. I'll be there all day. I, I didn't know if that was one assigned or was just responsible for that. So put me under that. Okay. I guess we don't have to really approve this, but I did hear a motion. Right, you, you made a motion, so we'll do a second, and then I guess technically we'd go to discussion now, but we've done it anyway. I realized driving here tonight that town and gown is not among this on this list. No, um, it's normally that the the, uh, the supervisor and the mayor are on that, um, and I'll be doing that, and, and I think Tim will be doing that. And if you can't go, we always did traditionally just call someone. It never worked. It was always a bad day for me. You know, Marty was able to attend some. So. I can I, I, I can designate Marty. At, would you be willing to be an alternate, Marty? If that's the wish, sure. Okay. And then Marty, also, I mean, uh, I apologize. Uh, Neil, for the uh, TIP, there's also a county meeting, uh, the transportation. Yes. Commission up there, so. I talked to Gail about that, and uh, they would like, uh, if I could attend, but maybe I could have an alternate. Hey, if you can, again, just so you know, just it's a meeting time and day that just does not work out. 
has ever worked well for me. Uh, it's a little bit of a difficult time. It's usually during the day. Yeah, I might so, be able to do it because I work in Kingston anyway. So maybe if you want to make it, if Dan's available there or right. uh, Marty, make, make a couple alternates for that, mm -hmm. it might be a really nice thing because they would really like to start seeing some of the officials there. We've got the bridge coming. And yep. It's been difficult. I've been going up, running up to see, seeing them for the bridge issues. but uh, I, was, I was planning on attending that, so I didn't awesome. put it out here. No, so That'd be great. Thank you. All those in favor? Aye. Uh, uh, motion so carried. All right. Uh, conference attendance. Oh, I missed the tax revenue. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, investment of tax revenues. Authorize the temporary investment of tax revenues by the town supervisor. So moved. Seconded. Any discussion? All, all in favor? Aye. Motion so carried. Conference attendance. Whereas section 77B, uh, subsection 2, provides that the town board may delegate its power to authorize attendance at such conferences to any executive officer or administrative board, Supervisor Cortez will authorize such attendance. So moved. Seconded. All, uh, any, any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion so carried. Uh, additional motions. Uh, a motion needs to be made uh, to auth uh, authorize the expenditure of up to $2,000 for the registration, lodging, meals, and travel expenses for members of the board who wish to attend the 2016 Association of Towns meeting in Albany. These individuals will present receipts and or documentation for reimbursement. So moved. Seconded. And so, yeah, we approved the rooms and everything already, so just bring back receipts. So. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion so carried. Uh, I guess then we need a certificate of designation. Uh, we need a motion to designate Supervisor Batez as the official representative to attend the annual business meeting at the Association of Towns. So moved. Sorry. Second. And uh, also, does that, uh, 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 yeah, that makes you, uh, I apologize, yes. That's why I make sure you, you're, we're designating you also as the, as the uh, representative vote for the town of New Paltz. Right? Um, yeah, um, any, any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. Motion so carried. Actually, I think you have to say you're the official representative of the delegate. That's not the the word. So mm -hmm. You are the voting delegate. Mm -hmm. the so that we can. Would that be an amendment to this? Yeah, yeah. we just make it. I, I was trying to come up with the words. Yeah, you're the voting delegate. Yes, yeah, so you are. I'd like to make a motion to make Supervisor Batez the voting delegate for uh, the Association of Town Business Meetings. That's not correct? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Second that. All over. Any discussion? Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. Uh, motion so carried. Thank you. We're going to get the Roberts World War going down. So, uh, so prepays. Uh, we uh, need to approve the prepayment of monthly bills and discounted invoices for the year 2016. As well, indicated. As indicated. <laughs> yes. Uh, so moved. So any, any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Motion so carried. Uh, purchase and orders. And Julie, just say that when we go through doing orders, I'll show you why we do these as prepaid when we go through them. Uh, there's, there's, there's a, I'll show you why it works much better. We also have a list of uh, purchase orders that is in the back of the packet as well. There's monthly, uh, quarterly, and annual purchase orders. It's uh, maybe five, six, seven pages long. Put them in the town record. Uh, the bookkeeper is authorized to issue the following purchase orders on a monthly, quarterly, annual basis. See the attachments to the respective departments without having Supervisor Patez approve the request. All other purchase order requests will still be issued only when the supervisor approves them. In addition, uh, those listed in bold with an asterisk would be authorized prepays. So moved. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Motion so carried. Uh, we have a list of fees that are also in the packet for recycling, highways, water, sewer, recreation, community center, uh, clerk fees, planning board fees, ZBA, building department, towing, and assessor fees. Can we read through them all, or are we? Uh, are there any changes? There are some. Uh, 
Those. And then One thing we're going to need to discuss in the future is, uh, unfortunately, uh, so if you look at like even the first one, the wetlands, uh, uh, we have lost Spider Barber, so the fees have increased slightly that we pay uh, part of the wetlands law, we go and do the first inspection at the payment of the town. So I'm not looking to change the law whatsoever, but we do need to be aware of that the cost is because we had a local individual that was certified in doing it, and uh, the most qualified uh, bank associates is highly qualified in doing wetlands. Oh, Stacey, I'd love to hear your comment. No, I still have Spider listed. Um, I saw that because he as, might come back. Uh, well, if he's, if when he's well enough to come back, yes, I think he would like to come back. So, Ned you know, the town, they can name them both. So, that if he can come back, we can utilize him. And I was going to ask you that. I saw you had his name on there, so actually I would love to have that. So hopefully if Spider does get well enough, we will have him. Uh, it's just it is. I did note that Bank and Associates was a little bit more. The travel costs were a bit. Yes. So it's something we probably just need, we might need to discuss a little bit more in the future. And, but they, they are highly qualified. So thank you for leaving, Stace, uh, for leaving Spider in there. So I, I think we're gonna we're gonna discuss some of these fees in the future, um, uh, particular the towing fees. We've had some some complaints, I think. So, um, but I'd like to uh, pass these right now with the understanding that some of them may be updated in the future. I know Chris has looked at them. And there's still some new towing fees. Yeah. 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 Great. Um, so, there was a motion to make motion. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carried. I would like to make a motion to uh, go into executive session to uh, conduct an interview, and we will be back out, and we may have some more business to uh, conduct. So I would like to invite Michael Zeeler into executive session. Second. Dan, let us know we're on. We are live. Um, we'll let Julie say goodbye. Here. I make a motion we come out of executive session. You gotta get that on. Seconded. All in favor? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion so carried. So I'm, I would like to accept the resignation. Or, uh, were any decisions or anything made in executive session? No. Yes. Yes. Yeah, which? <laughs> <laughs> no votes for taking We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna take any, action. No, we're going to take action. No votes. Actions or decisions or votes taken in executive session? Well, we have a yes and a no, so can we stick with one? No. no. Yes. Yes. We made a decision that we're coming we, out. We made a decision that we're coming out, and we're going to accept the resignation of Peter Muller from the planning board for uh, personal reasons. He uh, has served uh, very graciously and uh, done wonderful work for our town, and he will be missed. Thank you, Peter. So moved. Second it. Any discussion? I just, again, I will echo it as many, many years going to planning board meetings. Peter has always been a tremendous voice of reason. Uh, and we have Dave and Stacy here. We've worked fantastic with Peter for many, many years, and his presence will be missed tremendously. And I wish Peter good health. And uh, again, he has always been a great voice of reason and a tremendous advocate of our community and of our environment. I know I will miss him tremendously. I'd also like to ask uh, the supervisor to write a note thanking Peter for his service as well. Uh, so, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion so carried. I'd like to make a motion to appoint Michael Zeeler to uh, finish out the remainder of Peter's term. Seconded. Uh, for discussion, uh, Roseanne, do you have a file resignation at the clerk's office from? So, we don't have it open that I'm aware of because we don't have a, and the law does require, unless I'm wrong, that uh, it requires a file of resignation. I believe we have a file of resignation. Uh, we also did just read through, it does require that the uh, position that's open on the board is advertised in both the uh, website and the newspaper. I'm not aware of a newspaper ad for the opening. So, uh, also, uh, I'm disappointed that. Uh, traditionally, it is not in the law. I'm well aware of that because I was on the board when the law was written uh, that we are not moving forward with moving up an alternate as we have done in the past. 
Rosanna, I watched uh, our tape of the last time we made an appointment for the planning board, and uh, at that meeting, it was stated that it was Tim Rogers' seat uh, when he was coming up for reappointment, and uh, it was said that his seat had been advertised because it was a seat that was up, and the town board appointed Adele in December for her seat, so to follow that logic, was Adele's seat published the way Tim Rogers' seat was? As an opening on the town board, for the town. Off the top of my head, I don't know if the supervisor's assistant is the one that publishes those those opening statements. Um, okay. We had had a notice on the website for quite some time, uh, and I know some notices had been in the paper prior to that, so can't say for sure, but I think, yes. Because if we had stuck with tradition, unless we did something specifically different for Tim Rogers' seat, we would have noticed for a position that would have started January 1st, 2016 for the planning board. Uh, and I would say that that is adequate notice for this position. It's also been advertised on the website for months um, as well. Today I was asked to change. Okay, it. so it was listed as being e e edited in October. Today. Okay, that's fine. Um, that was probably prior. Sure, that's fine. No, that was just changed today. Mm -hmm. So if, if there was a, a public notice in the newspaper for that seat, assuming that we kept uh, the same practice for all our planning board members, then I would feel more than comfortable in voting in favor of Michael Zeller. Um, I'm aware that Jeff just noted about the resignation letter. Um, would it be fair to make the appointment of Michael Zeller contingent upon you receiving a filed resignation letter? Or is, is what we have here not considered a formal resignation? By your opinion? Uh, for it to be a formal resignation, it would have to be uh, an original signed letter from Michael Zeller to the planning board and the town council. So I, I know that a number of government entities as well, except that this was sent for everyone's you know, information as an email and people to accept this as a signature when it comes from the individual's email account. Do you as clerk consider that I to be? I try not to do that. I need to sign. Okay. The, the reason why i trying to, you know, one of the reasons why we would like this done soon is because there is a meeting coming up and there is a necessity to have a board member. Um, would it be fair to make a motion contingent on Peter filing and you accepting a resignation. I just, want, I just want the letter, that's all I want. Okay, so then I, I guess I will make the motion then that um, to appoint Michael Zeeler contingent upon you receiving a formal and accepted resignation letter from Peter Moore that you can file. Procedurally, I think we have a motion already before us. So I amended my motion that I made. And I will, I will I'll second the, uh, I'll use my second to that for more discussion. Uh, again, I'm deeply disappointed that if you're looking to do open government, that we are now starting out by not having something put into the newspaper that states this is open. But I believe We're that not, it would be in the paper unless we change the procedure specifically for Tim Rogers' seat. I am uh, again disappointed that it's we're filling this position without designating it towards uh, you know it has not been on the website we only had on the website for an alternate uh, if we are if we are not in desperate need it's a seven member board uh, we do have an alternate so we don't have a desperate need to fill it right away last time we Since, did this, you said I'm we sorry, had a Dan, desperate need because of the items before us and the same items that are before us today and I'm sorry Danny had to interrupt for that because I wasn't finished. Uh, it also uh, disappointing because we do have an alternate that has been attending all of the meetings uh, and should it be needed for a quorum, I will guarantee you, having gone to many years in the meetings, that we do have a quorum. So the need to fill this seat uh, so quickly is, I don't really understand. Uh, and also past tradition, we broke the law, and again, I, I could be wrong in the year, I believe it's 2008 or 2009, uh, a, the past supervisor wrote the law uh, and it, I know it is not in the law, but, but the intent was the reason you have alternates was to fill in and also to start to have people get training on the position because the reason for the seven year terms is a very, very complex board. Uh, it does have a lot of legal ramifications to it and it is not a simple process anymore doing planning duties. And you had the opportunity to have someone be there 
and actually see how it operates and sit there and see if it is something for them. Um, because we do have board members that have come on, I've watched them come on and they last a year or two and then they drop off because they realize this is a very long commitment and it's a very complex board to sit on. Uh, so it's not, I have uh, nothing against Michael Zewer. I've known Michael Zewer for um, like, uh, way too many years. I have full faith in his abilities. Uh, I just do not, uh, I, I just, this seems to me as though uh, something that was uh, done behind closed doors and now being just all of a sudden brought out at the board table and, and that I don't like the look of it all. And nor do I approve of it. Um, Michael Zeeler is a village board member who presently is the chair of the village planning board. He's not as a village well. board member. Um, a, he was a former village trustee. Yeah. Um, and additionally, regarding the necessity of this position, you advocated specifically for us to make our previous appointment based on the same necessity that I just advocated for today, and I don't see that the circumstances have changed. Um, Mike, you have something? I, well, I heard Liberty is a board in a motion, Mike, I, if you can wait. Yeah, 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 thank you. And, and then I'm more than happy to hear you this word in a moment, in the middle of a motion. <laughs> thank you, sir. Any, uh, any more discussion? I can't think of a more qualified person in our community to serve us on our planning board than Michael Zeeler. And I'm very grateful that he's decided to give up more of his time to serve our community. Thank you. Uh, any more questions? Before we vote, could we just reread the amended motion, please? Second. I have we second. It was already second. We're good. Cool question. Uh, any any discussions? Right Right down. Cool. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 I'm going to abstain. Okay. Motion so carried. And I'm sorry, Mike. Um, I, I just wanted to make comments. Um, first off, the town hall prohibits. Um, alternates from filling in if there's a vacancy just for the purpose of a vacancy we would have to go through the same process um, your alternates are as is true also in the village alternates are only a, to serve in a specific context of interest and secondly with all due respect I have to say that the current alternate does not attend every meeting has not been there for most of them and um, has faithfully served when there actually has been particular application for which she's appointed. That takes nothing away from me by that. And furthermore, I, I would be more than happy for you all to, to advertise for this. I would encourage it, just as I encourage you to do. Um, and uh, to make it clear, I, I am currently the chair of the board and I can continue in that role. Um, it's my hope to be able to serve the town Asking for a period of time while you seek people who can serve you capably, but I just felt that it was too important to have a vacancy on the board. We have a lot of pressing decisions and to have people who are So I'm offering myself up. Thank you, Mike. Thanks. That's all this is good. Marty, do we uh, adequately address all the issues you wanted to add to the agenda? There's some question in my mind as to whether or not the town board set a meeting as a joint meeting on the 21st. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure we did, but I'm going to make a motion to set a joint meeting on the 21st. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. So Aye. there you go. Can I ask a question? Yeah. What about January's police commission meeting? Police commission meeting? Yep, that's usually before the town board session. I, I believe we scheduled the info session prior to that. So the info session's at 6.30 and the police commission's at 6.45? We're working. That was, that was scheduled, I believe, by the previous board. Yeah. We're working on so, Okay. So do we there are two other items. Uh, one is um, we've been going through the process of dem dem demolition for the existing moldy building on a piecemeal basis and we are up to the next piece and the next piece is to would be done by Douglas Hooter Kern Associates that have been helping us so far 
Uh, they're ready to do the bulk testing of ha for hazardous materials. And I am proposing that I'm moving that we allocate up to $10,000 for the purpose of bulk testing and further work by Douglas Whitaker and associates associated therewith. A second. Aye. Aye. Motion so carried. Uh, just one other piece to add to the reorg is, uh, and I believe Rosanna, you have it. Is we also have? I thought it was in here, but I can't find it. But we have Stacy here. You have an email from me. I did. Yeah. Um, yeah. I. Consultants. I thought yes. Yeah, so what we just need to do is, uh, if we could change, uh, you know, you could change the consultant <coughs> for Stacy for the hearing. Do you have it in front of you there, Rosanna? I, could you read it or hand it over to Neil? It's, uh, we just need to change. We have uh, one of the special prosecutors uh, listed as a hearing officer, and I would just propose that we change that to our new special prosecutor, Kevin Barry. You appoint Kevin Barry as the special prosecutor, right. but not the hearing officer. That's what I want to do. Is change, yeah, I think we had the wrong name as hearing officer. And that's our fault. Sorry, Stacy. No, oh, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. Good news. So, yeah, but no, to hearing officer though. It wasn't. It's not. It wasn't in the minutes at all. Right, but because so we need so to appoint. Yeah, like to make a motion, yeah, make a motion and we appoint Kevin Berry as the hearing officer for the planning board. That no no. Oh, uh, for, for, for. The building department for unsafe structure. Building department unsafe structure hearing officer. Seconded. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carried. One other item on my request for additional items, and that's to set a special meeting for next Tuesday, January 12th, with the anticipation that we will have available to us documents regarding the Municipal Center for discussion. Is this space available? Yes. Okay. So I'll make that motion. Second. And we're meeting at the regular 730? Yes. And this is for next Tuesday? Yes. And I picked Tuesday rather than Thursday, just so that the folks know. Three of us being new to the board will be in Albany on the 13th, 14th, and 15th for training with the Association of Towns. So I couldn't pick a Thursday night. I'm going to a whole day session on Robert's rule of order. So. <laughs> okay. We'll have this done by then. Uh, stay safe. Just before you adjourn, I just had a couple questions regarding the organizational meeting. Um, I didn't, and I don't know um, if you have to um, appoint the attorneys for the building department, the engineer for the building department, the attorney for the zoning board of appeals, <coughs> the alternate attorneys for the planning board. Was that has a list? Yeah, that's what I was The ones that we did appoint uh, were. We're only George Lithgow. Yes, that's right. For the planning board. Yeah. He's also the building yeah. department's right. attorney. Okay, well, um, uh, I don't know this. If that gets covered in there. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is the first I've seen this. I'm, I'm right. happy to do that. Bring it uh, to your attention so we don't have to do it again. Okay, I'd like to make a motion to appoint George Lithgow as the planning board attorney, uh, George Rosenhausen as the backup appointed. attorney. Oh, I thought it was just everyone on this list right well, now. He's already been appointed as the planning board attorney. But we're doing it. We have to do it again. Engineer Dave Clauser, backup engineer, William Road? Road. Road. Traffic consultant, Creighton Manning, wetlands inspector, James Spider Barber, and Agden Environmental. And then ZBA attorney, Joseph Moriello, backup attorney, George Road has it. Second. Any discussion? And the building department. And the building department, George Lithgow, Dave Clauser, and I believe we just did Kevin Berry as the hearing officer. Um, that's my motion. Uh, here I'll second that. Right. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carried. I make a motion to adjourn. That list is yours. Second. Uh, any discussion? We're going to go to Robert Rules of Water School after this. Oh, it's the first one.